I'm starting to think we might need to bail on Dnipro S sooner rather than later. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to The Journeyman. I'm, I'm, I'm getting worried about this team, boys. I'll take you through it in a minute. So after our terrible last episode, we then lost 3-1 um, to Ilicevic. Uh, they could have scored a load more. We also had a man sent off. They didn't even score after that, thankfully. I think they felt sorry for us. Uh, we did build Olympic Donetsk in the League Cup or the, the Kubok Ukraini first round and uh, but we played really well again had a man sent off for a stupid tackle Dorenko he did score as well and Holly that's Holov Holovko that I keep getting the name wrong so I'm just I've renamed him Holly just job done um before really well but they are a league below to be fair and then we had a fantastic result against Carpati um, 4 0. Marcus with an absolute bullet. Christian Herc, Holly, and Eugene Dorenko all in the second half. Oh, okay, that was the first half. Some in the first half, some in the second half. Um, and that was because that's like a lower league team. And up at, I was like, we played so bad in the last four that this seems like a lifetime ago of when we started the season well. And we made some slight tactical tweaks, still 4 4 2. And. So this has restored my faith a little bit. League-wise, we're still like sitting pretty for a newly promoted side. Now we've got that win under our belt. 13 points. It's all looking good. The problem, as it's always been, we are now £1.5 million in debt. Bearing in mind, I'm pretty much doing everything I can. We're £5,000 a week under the uh, wage budget. <clears throat> I spent 250 which, and that's because I could get it from the wage budget. I've done as much as I can, and also in the last like season and a half, the board have put in one and a half million pounds to keep the club afloat. So assuming they didn't do that, we'd be three million pounds in debt. The projection is two million at the end of this season, basically a million a season we're losing. And I've checked the rules. There's no real prize money or TV money. So there's nothing that's really going to give us any money whatsoever unless we somehow miraculously finish in Europe. Basically, Europe is going to be the saviour of our, of our squad. And obviously, a big part of this journeyman is to, is to try and get your ba the, our coaching badges as soon as possible, get those coaching badges. And we're never going to get a coaching badge while we're here unless we get into the Champions League or something. It's going to be a long time. So I'm not going to quit. Let me know what you think of this guys but it's only getting worse where the club is called is insecure financially now um i'm so i'm worried that it, it's, it's obviously just going to continue down unless we have a miraculous run and rather than i'm not going to just quit but i think i'm just going to keep an eye on the old job market just to see if there's anything interesting coming about i've got a couple of irons in the fire but i'll keep them Keep them under wraps for now unless something develops. But there's, I'll surprise you with it. And unless there's a big decision, I'll surprise you with it. But today we are playing Summy, who are the, who are the draw masters from last season who got promoted with us. And then a little team called Dynamo Kyiv. No, I've not heard of those. Um, they're a little team. They look like they're on a bit of a run. That's all, really. They're Leicester, aren't they? Really? Um... So Sami are not doing very well. They've only won one game. I'm hoping, one thing to note, after four terrible games and then two good wins, both of which Marcus played in because he was out, he took a knock, he was out for those four games and came back and he's just an absolute beast. I think he might single-handedly save this season. Um, so we're going to go with Durenko and Herc up front, Holly on the right, Mudders on, on, Mudders on the right, Holly on the left, Marcus and Kogut, who are probably our best players. And uh, pretty simple 4-4-2, nothing, nothing weird about it. Um, I had a couple of instructions that I didn't like. I was trying to pass into space, trying to use the pace of Mudders and Holly, but th that didn't really work, um, and a couple of other changes. But let's go, let's go, boys, come on. Was that a freak 3-0 win? Because I feel like... 
because I I don't think I've ever I don't think I've ever been at a club that's gone into like proper full on debt like risk of administration. We've seen that the board will put money in to keep it afloat, but are they going to keep doing that? We're still going more and more into debt, so surely at some point they need to start putting more money in <laughs> or like real risk of administration. They, and I don't I don't think there's anything I can do. Go on, mothers. <sighs> Go on. Yes. No. Disallowed. I don't think there's anything really I can do to help it. We could... I, I'll, I'll try my best to keep the wage budget down. I'll try my best to not spend too much money. I think... I think... I still think we're in, in for a relegation battle this year. So we can't really afford to... Oh, Marcus. Marcus. Go on. Hit it. Unlucky. Um, we. I don't think we can really afford to sell any players like our... To try and make some money. The trouble is, there's not that mu there's not really that much money in the Ukrainian game. Obviously, Shakhtar and Dynamo are the two teams that can spend a bit of cash. So what we're really looking for is teams to come in, and like European teams, we have to have a, a kid, a wonder kid, or something so good that other European teams with more money are going to come in and actually spend it. And I don't think we're that good. <laughs> I don't think we've got that many that good players. We started this. Good half, though, boys. Good, solid half. <clears throat> It'll be sort of... Sort of... It would feel right if we draw against Summy. Right. Um, how's the fitness levels? It's okay. Like, you know, and I won't feel bad about Dynamo. If we do leave Dynamo, I won't feel too bad because we got them back promoted to the division where they belong, sort of, arguably. Um, so I don't feel too bad for them. But I think we need to maybe, I feel like we're on a bit of a sinking ship. We've got a lot of holes and not enough wooden nails. This is the problem. Marcus, go on, Marcus. <sighs> um, so, yeah, I think we need to jump off. We, much like Game of Thrones, and we are reek, we need to, rather than confront the problems, we just need to jump off the, sorry, Game of Thrones spoilers from ages ago. We need to jump off the ship and <laughs> swim away. <laughs> Because we've got no penis. Okay, I've taken it too far, haven't I? <clears throat> Come on, boys. Come on, ski. Where you go, mate? Where you go? There we go. That's it. Good stuff. <laughs> Marcus. Just give it to Marcus. Right, Koga. Look, you've got so much to... That's it. Give it to Marcus. That's the rule of the game. Holly, give it back to Marcus. Come on. There we go. Good boy. Who's your good boy? Come on, ski. Back to Marcus. <laughs> it's like my team... Know that they they he's the best player. Gives a great ball in though. Holly with a great header. It's not Holly. It's Christian Herk, our loaning striker. A laser is the archi architect. It, it's all Marcus. He had about six touches in that move. Everything goes through him. <clears throat> but he, he was man of the match last time out, laser, and he's having another solid game. So it'd be good to have a decent fullback, and we're dominating them. Which we should. We were much better. Well, we were better than Summy last year. And we've improved. Marcus with a free kick. Whips it round. Keeper makes a wonderful save. And it's offside. They're always offside. Those bloody rebounds. You'd think the players would learn, wouldn't you? Just stand a couple of yards back, wait, and then go. Oh, I forgot to make any subs. That's awkward. All right, cut dressing co. Um... Both of our backup wingers are injured currently, which is not ideal. Sakyan for Ignatyev. <clears throat> right. Don't. Offside. Surely. It's not offside. It's not offside. There's like at least 12 of them. At least 12 there was there that looked offside. Oh, the defence is just shocking. Look at him. He's... Is he not offside? Was he not offside? When that heck... I'm having a look at this. We're having a look at this, boys. It's not that I'm bitter or anything, but I'm, I'm just bitter. Clearly. Okay. I'm, I'm not convinced this is offside. Oh, shit, I, didn't, I forgot it was from that free kick. I'm a, I'm a genius. I'm an absolute genius. 
right pause it this is the free kick okay i'm not having any of this right might be a bit slow might be a tiny bit slow right cuz he if he did, it's not offside there that's fine Oh, no, is it Herc's header? Oh, it's Herc's header. He was offside, but it was Herc's head. Got the head to it. Oh, Herc. What have you done there? Oh, it's a draw against Sammy. Well, who'd have thought it? I bet you get crap odds on that result. Oh, no. Don't let's go and score a winner now, though. We are. That's just rude. You've done nothing all game, Sammy. Absolutely nothing. Push him back. Oh, we've got Dynamo Kiev. Oh, this is, this is, we should have, this is a nailed on win of, of all the games. Home against Sammy. <sighs> disappointing. I was going to say unlucky, but no, it's disappointing. Okay, then. Dynamo. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Things have happened. Uh, before the Dynamo game. We've been offered a job. <sighs> We've been offered a job. At Helsingborg's IF. Oh. Hmm. Sorry. He for to give them their full name. Helsingborg's Eidrotsforening. They are 14th in the old All Svenskan. All Svenskan. Um, oh my word I wasn't oh, I, was, oh. I wasn't expecting a job offer I did apply for it I applied for a couple of jobs just to see where we were got a job interview first job bish bash bosh been offered it um, they got some really interesting things about them I, there's, ne there's positives and negatives from this job I'm, I'm going to decide this I'm going to decide Right here and now, but I want to. I'm gonna go through my thought process with you. Right, so let's have a look. Okay, finances. Okay, already an improvement on what we currently got. Estimated value solid. Training facilities good. Youth facilities good. Very nice. Uh, two and a half star reputation. I don't know what our reputation is, which is the same. So everything's the similar, apart from finances are better and the estimated value of the whole team and club is is a shit ton more now there is a negative there's only four games left <laughs> there's there's only four games left of the season and they're currently sitting in what looks like a relegation playoff because it's is it a relegation playoff team relegation Bottom two teams are relegated. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's, it's not a playoff. Sorry. Sorry, silly me. A team in 14th qualifies for a play out. Of course. Of course. Do we see you on the... Okay. Okay, we'll just, we'll just assume. So, <clears throat> got some big teams up in this league. Oh, that's... Oh, we're three points off with four games to go. It wouldn't be the worst if we... I doubt we'll get sacked if we got relegated, right? They wouldn't sack us that quickly. And there doesn't seem to be any... Uh, <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any sort of... Oh, if you, by the way, if you don't get stay up, then we will get rid of you. So they're obviously they're in Sweden. 15,000 capacity stadium, Olympia quite sure that was in Greece but that's okay wage budget of 40 grand which is almost twice as what we're spending here already 150 grand to spend on on transfer which is not a great deal but what it does show that there is they're not horribly in debt they're not in debt where they just go sorry lad zero if we look at wages it is a pay rise let's have a look at their team and if Helsingborgs, if we look at the season preview, um, so they are underperforming. 
oh, I kind of like what this little random challenge, like with a sort of manager that comes in and rescues a club and then moves on to the next rescue job. It feels like, yep, yeah, Delete Pro, we sorted you out, lads. We'll go on to the next one. Their top goal scorer's only got 10 goals. But he's pretty solid. Um, quite a lot of foreign players. <clears throat> Doesn't look like there's any foreigner rules. There could be like at least three Swedish players, but Magnus Torp. I like the name, but he's playing utter shit and he's not that good. Is that the best we could do, really? Right at the end of the season, do we have any value in the team like a superstar? We do have a couple of high value players. We've got a Ghanaian called Mum. Mum. Mamudo Moro, I like it, I like it, who's okay, and Elias Anderson, who's a local lad, solid all-round central midfielder. Um, what else can we see? What sort of attendances do they get? They fill out their stadium. <sighs> oh, that's quite, isn't that just the first home game? No, they, they, they're close to filling out their stadium every, so they've got, a good fan base. They went through a really... Mm, it's not great, is it? They started better. And then... No, you can see why... The, you can see why there's a vacancy, can't you? Oh, quite. I think I might go for it. I've n have I... Uh, I'll ask you guys this, because I don't remember, because my memory's terrible. Have I ever managed in Sweden? <laughs> I feel like I haven't, but you never know. <clears throat> what sort of 21 points? God, oh, there's a seven-point gap. We're hoping for one team. If we go down, we go down. It's not... There is another league, isn't there? The all spend... Oh, it's the Super Tan. Da -da -da -da, Super Tan. You know, we can bounce back. That's not, that's not as serious. It, it's more about the how financially stable this club is and it looks like it's really solid there's no ridiculously priced overpaid players like some random dude on seven grand a week we got some decent value in the squad so even if we needed cash we could potentially cash in on somebody like this like this guy i'm not even sure he's that good like he's really not that good so that's sort of potentially where we he's been here a while he's done all right but that's somewhere we could protect i think i think we jump ship Is there anything else I want to look at? Um, so, so do we? Okay, so it's owned by. Okay, so that this is a downside. Is the the stadium is owned by the council? We pay quarter a mil a year. It's a brand new stadium. It's got good junior coaching, well established youth recruitment. So we could get young Swedish players through, which would be fantastic. No under soil heating. Well, it's fucking Sweden. Surely you should have under soil heating. Gets a bit chilly, I've heard. Uh, is there anything? God, they've got a lot of... Jesus. Got a lot of icons, haven't they? Any I've actually heard of, probably, if I went through it. But I've heard of him. I've definitely heard of this fella. I've definitely heard of this fella. <laughs> oh, so he was there for two seasons. Sh scored an absolute shit ton of goals, understandably. Went to Feyenoord, didn't quite do fantastic. Was a, obviously a monster at Celtic. And then he came back. Oh, that's quality, that is. So Helsingberg got him on a free. He scored 13 in 13. And then they loaned him to Man City and he scored himself a goal. I like the fact that Helsingborgs are loaning players to Man City. That just seems brilliant. And he still banged him in. Retired in 2000. We could bring... He's manager of BK Hackensack, who are six in the league. Okay, maybe not bring him in as an assistant manager. See? Know your limits. This is where he should have retired, isn't it? He carried on for two years too long. Okay. <clears throat> I know him. Aston Villa? Am I, am I thinking? No, that's that's uh, Wigan. Yeah, I don't remember. That's that's 
but I was thinking of somebody. And Callie Svensson, who doesn't even have a t- price. Season ticket holders, five thousand, almost 5,000. Owner loves the club. It's got personality, professional. Founded, founded in 1907. Badge. Looks a little bit like a shitty Christmas wreath. Got to be honest. It looks like they forgot to colour that bit in, didn't they? Oh, we'll have the red and the blue. It's look lovely. We'll do the other green. Oh, run out of pen. Didn't have a green pen. All right, anything else we want to look at? We can't see. Get a team report. Um, so they sold a player that... Oh, okay. They sold... A decent young Norwegian player. They bought players in. Obviously, we've got no transfer window. So we are, with the four games left of the season, we are going with what we've got. But they they seem to have a pretty well-rounded two goalkeepers. They've got right backs, got left backs, got everything. It looks like we could pretty much play any formation. <clears throat> Um, would he, would he come though? <laughs> oh, he's already moving, isn't he? Hang on, where's he going? He's not going to fucking switch. Where where's that team? Okay, it's Croatia. I was going. If imagine if he was going to Sweden, oh, that'd be gutting. Okay, <clears throat> I think we're taking it. I think it's better long term. There's a good chance they might have a little bit of money so we can get a coaching badge. If not, we're not in terrible financial trouble. We've got a fan base that is coming to every game, 15,000 fans. So even if we get relegated, I think financially it just seems a much better fit. Let's go for 2K for two years. I don't think they'll go for this, but we'll ask. Somewhere apart. Okay, what about just the 2K bit? Come on, come on, <laughs> come on now, just round it, round it, just round it up. Come on, it's what's £100 between friends? Um, I feel like a yearly wage rise is a mistake with a one-year deal, just going to say. Come on. Okay, fine. I'm doing it, I've done it, I've done it. We've we've Gareth failed on the Deep Pro 1. <sighs> I think it was the right. I think it was the right decision. Yeah, I know. I'm. I'm pretty sure. Oh, 90 grand. Well, that's helped the deep pro, is it? Silver lining. We had a little. We had a nice time there, but it it felt like a sinking ship. I couldn't. We'd had a decent start to the season, but we'd also been thrashed about three or four times, and I didn't know if that. I didn't know which way we were going to go. We've looked so bad and decent at the same time that I, I think it's the right thing to do because at the end of the season, we're going to be two million in debt. And also, the the guy that was keeping this whole team together, Marcus, is leaving in in Christmas, in December. So it's not like we'd have him for... Yeah, no, I'm happy with I'm happy with my decision. Let me know what you think. Am I a dirty snake? Am I abandoning a sinking ship like a traitorous? Or should I go down with it, so to speak, ladies? Okay, let's have a... Oh, we've got some future transfers. A key signing. Alphonse Samst... Icelandic! Okay. Okay, right. Let's have a quick look through. Finances. Seems to me like we're a million pound in debt. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. But we're not losing as much money. I think it's still okay. I love the fact you can't see when you don't have the job. Like they'll say, oh no, it's, finances are okay. Like I said, I still think there's much more opportunity here to sell players if we need, try and get it under control and stuff like this. We're currently spending a tiny bit over our wage budget. That's not a problem because we can't sign players anyway and a bunch of people look like they're running out of contracts at the end of the season. Um, 20%. Oh, cheers, lads. Cheers. Do we have any debt? 
No, good. The only big debt we have is the, or not debt, but the money going out is the rental on the stadium. So if we look at our income this season, um, is there not a total? <laughs> there we go. It's in, I like the fact it's not. Yeah. So five and a half million. So that's not bad at all. <clears throat> so this season we're half a million in debt. So last season was six million, half a million. So we're running about half a million debt a season, um, which is which is definitely doable because I'm I'm decent. Oh, we're still in the cup. I was only in the second round. I'm I'm good at finances, so I'm I can happily do it. We've got a quarter of what looks like a really well-rounded squad. Hang on, both of our goalkeepers are 19. Now I've, I've might have seen you. Pro I might have spotted your problem here, lads. You've got a good team apart from no goalkeepers, apart from two young kids. Mm, I'm I'm beginning to see your problem. Oh, hello. I, I just look at I I don't even look at like oh there's some wonder kids here. When I look at teams like this, I'm like, there's a lot of players I could get rid of at the end of the season. But we do have a couple of wonder kids in there as well. Nilsson. Is decent, but there's a 23 year old here that we could get rid of. Those the contracts, most of them are going anyway, so we'll just let them run out. We've got a couple of good youngsters there under contract, under 19s. Again, far too big a squad. We're gonna cull it, cull its face in. We got some, oh, we got Linus Lanborn. We just, I'm just gonna offer him a contract. Obviously, he's already got one. He's already got one. Um, Linus Lamborn. What the hell is that, mate? What are you doing? Come on. That hair is its not your own. It's like a giant wig. Um, a central midfielder. We've got Eric Genberg, who looks like a fullback. Yes, he is. Right back. Not bad at all. Um, and Stop Janovic. Um, I wish he was a goalkeeper. Could have just called him Stopper. Another right back. Okay, we've got some we've got some good talent in here, as well as the goalkeepers looks good for their age. I'm just not a massive fan of really young goalkeepers. Um, let's have a look at rules before we finish up, because these are always interesting. Okay, points for a win three, points for a draw one. How many points for a loss? Why doesn't it say? How do I know? I might get five points for a loss and we've been doing it backwards. Um, match squad must have at least, at least nine players trained by a club in Sweden. So not a homegrown club homegrown, just in Sweden. Interesting. And that's the match day squad, so including subs. Fine. Prize money. Juicy. Not much for Dan where we are. Um, we know that we've got the play out. We might finish in the playouts. <laughs> Top team qualifies for the Champions League. Second and third qualify for the Europa League. All that good stuff. Transfer window. 11th of August it closes. We have to remember that. Um, what? 15th of July to the 11th of August. Normal. 15th of November to the 31st of March. I'm assuming I'm assuming winter break. That's when does the season start? Okay, I'm confusing my brain now. So you start off with what's this? Just pretend we never saw that, whatever that is. So it's so the season starts in April. May. We have a little break here. We have the the summer off. <laughs> it's nice. So we finish at the end of May. And then we come back. So, th so normally this is where the normal season would start. This is hurting my brain. This is hurting my brain. So normally, I'm obviously because I'm basing this on England because, you know. Obvious reasons. Um, so normally that's where we'd start. 
the season and then we'd go on to May. (laughs) So they start earlier. They start in April. Get to May. This isn't last season, is it? Like, that's right. This is just this season. Okay. So they start in April. Do the whole of April, most of May, and then have June and a bit of July off. And then come back. So they have a summer break. Oh, that hurts my brain. It's That looks so simple, but it hurts my brain. I'm not used to it. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Join me next episode where we'll take a sort of closer look at the team and play a very <laughs> thrown in at the deep end here, lads. Thrown in at the deep end. We're playing Svirska, who are 16th at away from home. And then George Gardens, who are 7th. We've got Orobro, who are 13th. And AIK, who are 2nd. Okay, we've got three beatables. Scherzen and Orobro. So we're playing Orobro. Fucking hell. Well, we're playing bottom of the league <laughs> in our first game, and then we're playing the team that we have to beat in the second game. Okay. And then George Gardens, who are battling for a chance at Europe still? Yes. And then we're playing AIK. Just... So hopefully we need it done and dusted by the time we get AI. They've got three games in hand. Done and dusted by the time we meet meet these, because they're, they're half decent. Um... Yeah, they're, they're not a bad-looking team from the looks of it. Right, let me know what you think of the move. Let me, like a rat off a sinking ship um, onto another ship that's got some holes in. But we, we can stick your fingers in. We've got enough fingers to put in holes. This is taking a turn. Okay, fingers up holes, in holes, down holes. I think we're better off. I th- I'm, pretty sh- I'm 99% sure we're better off in the long term. But let, let's just hope nothing weird happens. And and that, that's going to hurt my brain, the season starting so early. That's... It's, I still can't quite get my head around it. So we finish at Christmas. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on, hang on. We finish at Christmas. I don't know why this... You're all probably sitting there like, it's really clear, Loki, what you fucking talking about. So... When it confused me with the transfer window, the 15th of the really long transfer window is actually the, the summer transfer window, as to I know. That's why it's much longer, 31st of March, before the season starts. Then our winter transfer window, or January transfer window, is actually the bit of July, bit of August transfer window. It's not, not as catchy. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you now. I'm with you. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. This, this took a turn, this episode, didn't it? Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like if you are excited about the new club. If you if you are a Swedish person or a fan of Swedish football or you know this club, any information, please do leave it in the comments so we can all learn about it a bit more. I think we'll save because we're at quite an important part, right? I'm going to... Let's just say I'm going to commute... <laughs> from Ukraine to Sweden um, because we'll do all the Google Maps thing at the start of next season because we've got quite an important set of games coming up. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.